Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some of my top tips for enhancing your meeting within Microsoft Teams. So when you're going to start your meeting, whether it's a scheduled meeting or if it's just an off-the-cuff meeting like I'm doing now, once you're in here, as I've said, always remember to record your meetings in Teams. That just means that it's uploaded to stream and it means that it's on your channel for people to review at any time they want to, if they've missed it or if they want to recap it. So the first one is really simple, it's blur my background. Now, you might question why you might need this, um, but Teams lets you work on the go um, on your devices. So you might be working in a really busy coffee shop or a really busy office, and blurring your background just means that you reduce the distractions that are behind you so that people can really focus on you and rather than what's going on behind you. So it's really simple to do. If you're just working in a quiet office like I am right now, you probably don't need it, but it's always there if you do need it. And then the second one is probably my favorite um, element of meetings within Teams. It's to turn on live captions. So in a minute, you'll see that what I'm saying is appearing on the screen um, in text format. So it's there now. It just means that if it's quite a noisy environment or people can't understand what you're saying, um, this just helps them understand it and um, really clarify what you're saying. It's not 100% right, but it is the majority of the time. Um, the other nice thing about this is when I finish this recording and it's uploaded to streams, I'll then be able to go through and search um, the transcript because it transcribes all of what I've been saying. And I can search for keywords if I was going to say um, a really bad example is meeting. So I've said that quite a few times. But if I want to see every time that it said meeting in this video, it will bring that up. So, for example, if you were having a team meeting and you missed it, you could go and just search your own name to see where you were mentioned to see any items you had to catch up on um, or any tasks you were probably given because you weren't there. So it's a really, really good feature. I really love it. Um, and that's it. The other thing is sharing your screen on Teams is really helpful. Or a whiteboard if you want to demonstrate something, if you want to draw something, it's really good. So always try and share your stuff rather than um, trying to explain what you're looking at. So you can really enhance your meetings within Teams, really make it that little bit better, a little bit clearer and get the most out of it. 